Hey everyone, welcome to Dama Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host Eddie Wang and we have Samurai Showdown finally in the channel with us and this is a game that I always look forward to play and I finally got the chance because I get to purchase the game and it's a game that I played competitively in Samurai Showdown 2 which was the only competitive version of the game up to this version now which is kind of like on par with Samurai Showdown 2 but it's still a different game but it's a game that I always wanted to play I wanted to see the characters again and I decided to bring this game into the channel so I always follow with Samurai not only because the competitive version of Samurai was only Samurai 2 but what really get get me going with this game and I believe for most people was the story because this game is very rich in story in every single character that usually goes into samurai has a very deep reason to be in that universe and it's really just a amazingly written stories for this game and we are not going to talk about story wise for the game because story was always good but it's just that the gameplay after samurai showdown 2 started to go downhill but in this version they tried to pick up the best parts of each samurai in order to add it to this game in order to make it competitive again but there is one thing that i really don't approve is how it's only four buttons again uh, while samurai showdown 2 used to be technically six but six buttons per se because you had the small slash medium slash and the big slash uh, but you could do that with uh, a button combination for example a was small b was mid and a b together it was the strongest slash c was a small kick uh, d was a uh, c was a small kick D was a medium kick and C and D together was the strongest kick in the game and you also had combinations for example if you press it B and C together the character will short hop but in this game uh, there isn't really short hop like Auma for example if you press B and C in this game and it only does a overhead attack this is attack that is an overhead uh, in previous Samurai Showdowns games, uh, there wasn't really much overhead outside of jumping attacks, but you, this is completely new to this game. There is also a change in throws, because before in Samurai Showdown 2, you could grab people with real throws, but this is something that they took out of the game after Samurai Showdown 2 and on Samurai Showdown 3 onwards you can only push characters out like this uh, for like a, a to get guaranteed slashes and, and stuff on it's no longer like a throw game that was something one of the most uh, competitive things about Samurai Showdown was the throws the throws were were really good uh, and then uh, I already talked about the layout right and they also changed some things and kept some things for example uh, the just guard mechanic uh, the just guard mechanic this one right here uh, this is something that on samurai showdown 2 was automatically a disarm technique so but in this game they kept the the, the perfect defense the flawless flawless guard technique and what this does is as you guys are seeing the rage meter is growing up and every single time i do a perfect guard i get even more power and then whenever i hit my opponent with anything uh in this case how in this case how maru gets like a insane damage boost right because everything he does is going to deal insane damage this is completely new to this game the just guard is not new but giving power meter is new because on samurai showdown 2 when you did a perfect guard and it was a little bit less lenient so you really were afraid of doing a perfect guard back then because the the big slashes would deal insane damage uh some even would deal 50% damage or 40% uh, but here in this game they only deal 30% damage uh, what else what else all right so 
as I was saying, the power meter, or you guys call it rage meter, we just call it power meter in Angola. It's something that the characters always had seen Samurai Showdown 1. And once filled on some show 2, you could actually access to power moves, or as you guys call it, the weapon flipping techniques, right? Or the disarmament, disarmament techniques. Uh, but on Samurai Showdown 2, instead of really just, uh, in this case, for example, instead of really just disarm the opponent, right? Uh, the power would actually break the sword. So they really, the sword was nowhere to be seen and the character were forced to fight without the sword until the referee, the guys that you are seeing, uh, at the back of the screen the referee it would actually had a spare a spare sword for each character that it would throw back at the stage after a few seconds like maybe 10 seconds or if so 10 seconds or 8 seconds something like that and it, it would throw the sword back on the screen and then you just had to fight it to pick it up because if you don't pick up the sword and you try to fight swordless uh, then you are going to start to take ship from sword because swords are going to deal damage even if a little bit minimal but they are actually going to harm the opponent because you have a weapon of course kicks are still going to be natural but the the swords will actually uh will go, will go on and, and really do ship damage uh, so it was a really huge aspect in this game and something i don't like in this new samurai showdown is that whenever you do a power uh the weapon is flipped together with the character so they are always on a position to pick up the sword instead of just flipping randomly on screen so they always get disarmament disarmament on near the swords right the sword falls right next to the feet of the people that got disarmed so they get to pick up the fo the sword and fight uh, again and again and again this is something that i don't really like as much and also whenever you do a power move now uh, the game warns you that a power move is coming and while it warns it's not like they have invincibility frames it's really just happened so there is really no point of the power moves having this uh all I, I like to call it like this cringe animation that warning the opponent that you just did a power it was way more technical when it just happened like father blows because Aumaru could just really bait you jumping and then use this power that we actually used to call it like a, a materasu back then uh, and it was really just fun and people would fall right into it like Ukiyo's power also had this same ability and you could really just hit people out of it who trying to jump at ukyo and then they see the apple in the air and they knew that they really messed it up uh so but this is still a fun game it's just that there are some features that are missing for example you cannot you cannot roll in this game like you did in samurai showdown 2 shadow 2 you could run into a side row uh into tech row to forward door or into a back row you could actually prone on the front on the floor by double tapping down or, or holding of uh, you tap down and hold down like down down and the character would actually uh hit the dirt uh and prone on the floor and this would actually help avoiding some projectiles the short hop would also avoid some projectiles that traveled on the floor uh the perfect guard mechanic uh was actually a disarmament but here they have like uh they have the disarmament technique uh as a as a command now uh these days instead of being like something that is very difficult you can actually disarm a lot of people uh with a command this is also something they added on samurai showdown 3 and allows you to actually disarm the other characters with much ease by just pressing the a b together as you do a quarter cycle forward we just call this hadouken with a b together and then you can actually disarm the other players the trolls have the most recovery animation and they are very dangerous in this game uh, they don't give much rewards per se but 
when they whiff oh boy they die they die they easily die and for those people that never played samurai uh, before this is not a game that you run into do bigger combos save a few exceptions and this is more a game of space control if you guys ever see me playing scarlet uh, before uh, green arrow per se and some characters that these days have like considered to have a lot of reach that is that is a, ha a habit that came from this game where it was all about space control and if the opponent with it anything on screen you could really just punish them with a sword and the swords do a lot of damage i'm going to show you real quick uh the small or the weak slash doesn't do much is really just standard the medium slash does 10 damage or 10 percent damage and the the strongest slash does 30 percent damage so it's an increase of insane 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 damage that that this does so it does 300 damage per se right while the medium only does 100 which is 10 percent this one does 30 percent damage if it hits an opponent whiffing uh, this one only does like a three three percent uh three percent damage but the medium up close does eight percent damage uh and the big up close does 22 percent damage and this is how this game is played and whenever character is boosted on power uh, you guys like to call it rage um i'm really not going to change this into rage this day so really sorry for that uh, when your character has the power to the boost it to the max then his slash is going to do a, a little bit more and before on some show too uh, whenever you had power uh, not only the damage would increase a lot but the stone damage would also increase very absurdly and it would actually you can actually stun some characters with just one big slash whenever you had power on so the mistakes had to be really minimal because if he, if the opponent catches you with it and it connects a big that's gg's and a um, few things they kept taking out from the successors of samurai showdown 2 as i say the reversal is one of the things that they added on samurai showdown 3 by doing uh, a quarter circle back half circle back forward into a b but here is just a, a quarter circle forward a b or as i like to say hadouken with a b instead of atatsu forward a b uh and uh they also have the isen mirror and the isen mirror is a very interesting take because it's something that came from samurai showdown 5 special which was the competitive version of samurai showdown 5 and what they did in that game it was terrible terrible at some aspect for example if you had power right uh, before your power actually fills you could actually sit the character down and relax by holding the d button and that would actually uh deplete your your rage meter or deplete it and add to a meter that was near to your health and if that meter started to expand in order to become as large as your health when you you break into the hissen then not only the time would actually stop uh but the character that is not under the hissen effect would go like a uh, in reptile uh reptilian time right if you guys remember in mkx reptile had a move that what he would trigger some kind of animalistic uh, state and he will see everything slow it down so you could slow other characters by using his hand whenever they jump whenever they whiff it anything and then you could just really destroy them with that and the Eastern meter was so powerful because the more you stack it the more damage it would do and the longer it would last it was broken it was one of the things that really killed the game for me uh in my opinion but in this game they did a different take they combined uh, the eastern meter with the rage meter you can no longer build it up to deplete the entire health but the it, it, it still does a lot of damage even when you don't have much rage on it but the most important aspect of Isen now is that 
you can only do it once per match and whenever you burn your recent meter you can no longer use power as well so it's something that you're gonna have to use uncertainty because it doesn't regen so if you go all out you went all out if it pay if it didn't pan out you're fucked that is how they did with this game and even then you can no longer build it to your health but if you burn your recent mirror uh the longer the more power you have the more is going to stay on screen uh the time will freeze and as you guys see there is a dark atmosphere that that thing makes the background kind of sinister and that is something that they had on samurai showdown 3 that was really cool that whenever two characters were about near death on the last round then the music would stop the time would stop and the background of the stage would look to something similar to that and that means that someone is about to die so they added this to isen now and by doing isen is by pressing all the slash buttons and then the character is going to burst his power meter and then you can just do it again uh, whenever you see something with him but be aware that this is not safe and the opponent can actually also burn his in own isen meter in order to counter yours whenever you try to hit him because characters who are getting hit on hit stun can actually burn the, the isen meter i'm just going to show you real, real quick that this is something that you can do uh so whenever i get it as you guys can see and it has even invincibility mirrors so uh it has invincibility frame so the opponent can even touch you yeah, and you can actually burn your isen uh, and sometimes even before it touches you uh so it avoids essence when you sense that someone is going to use isen now you can actually burn uh your power meter in order to avoid getting crossed by a very dangerous slash right because in this game damage is something that is easily to achieve because it's not much of a combo game per se so whenever you hit some raw hits like strong slash is send uh, power raw power as well power moves like uh, like uh, like uh, this one uh, actually does a lot of damage and this one used to be a lot more faster so it's kind of sad to see power moves being slow in this game and there is a new thing which was in samurai showdown 2 used to be secret moves but here they are called it super special moves and some people just call it ssm which is the shortest form super special moves and those can only be used also once per match and they do a lot of damage they do over 50 percent damage and they can kill if you land for example a strong slash first and then you do like this and that is gg and as you guys can see they are very slow to start up and the most uh practical way to use them is by using a reversal on someone which in most cases is what most characters uh, can actually use the recent and and it does a lot of damage Omaru has one of the most damaging uh, SSMs in the game 70% damage of one SSM but you can only use once per game so it's something that every single character in the game has the codes are all the same for powers and, and essence and SSMs and are the most damaging supers in the game so you have three times the chance to kill one opponent in this game you can even use one per round per se but the power is something that you can always use whenever you have uh, your power meter full right the rage meter full and another thing that they change it uh, that you no longer see in this game uh, is whenever someone actually whenever someone is getting filled with power uh, their skin no longer changes because this was something that was up to later samurai showdown games that whenever your power meter started to to become really full like near to full the the skin of the character would also actually started to change as well they would become 
darker like a red in rage in order to symbolize that this character is near the, the power meter and when they enter the rage mode uh, the character could then it will automatically boost some words warning you that his power meter is full and will stay full until like the meter depletes itself you can't no longer see it uh, you can see it now but before you couldn't really see the meter uh, depleting it and whenever the power was filled with each character the code to execute the power was different and it was displayed on the top of the power meter right right above the power meter you could see the code to do uh, every single power in the game is something that I really appreciated that uh, SNK added to the game and it was really fun but this is Samurai Showdown this is just introduction to the game and uh, while you can still do have some mobility is not the same as it was with short hops uh, tech rolls and short and uh, prone and also transformation into dolls something they no longer has you can no longer taunt characters as well which is kind of lame because you could press uh, like a and c and taunt characters or you press b and d and have two different taunts so something that you no longer have in this game as well i don't really know why they took those things out it used to be pretty fun but they were gone after samurai showdown too so i can understand but still this is a very fun game and i will gladly break down every character in the game for you guys if you are interested in playing this game and just know that the online for this game is terrible is just as bad as it was Tekken 7 before season 4 so really hope that someday snk actually adds rollback to this game because it's a really fun game worth exploring and having more people to play online would be great because this is a nice game it's just sad that not many people had a chance to play but in angola we had a very powerful and active community for samurai showdown 2 back in the days and it was the most competitive version and one of the first FTSE games that existed back then along with street fighter so this one was more centered around footsies and it was a really nice game so see you guys on the next samurai showdown video